G'day, I'm Rena from Rena Lee Creations, and I'm here washing raw Dobby today in my tubs. I've shown you other ways to wash it, but this is probably the best way to wash small loads of it. You would have bought it in your out Aussie Outback core, and it would come out raw like this. So I don't necessarily fuss around with the tips, but you can see that by doing this, you're going to open up those tips a little bit more and get rid of some of that dirt. Now this is hot water. I prefer to use hot water than cold. Now I can squeeze, I'm not agitating. I'm just squeezing, squeezing out as much of the surplus dirt and dust that, as I can in that first lot. So it's going to end up looking a lot like that. Now what I do is I take some soap and go into my next barrel of hot water. And what I do is lay some soap in. We don't want bubbles in there because bubbles equal felting. So now I just wash it in the soapy water and I just push down or squeeze no agitation you can only do this with core wool you wouldn't do this with your fine wool i've shown you another way of washing it if it's finer wool but you can certainly do this with your raw dobby and then once you've done that you'll find the last bits of that will actually comb out you could wash it a second time if you like but it's only core wool we go for a rinse. Again, nice hot water. You can see how much cleaner that is. And all of that VM that you can see in there will be able to come out towards the end when you're either stabbing it or processing it. You can see how to process it in one of my other videos. Several different ways. You don't have to have a drum carter. And then I stick that out to dry.